What's up guys, this is Cher talking, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, let's talk about how to level up healing or recovery spells on auto, especially on memory rematch. Well, here we can see that a recovery spell is classified as recovery type, and that is very important because there are skills that will also heal by the end of turn, especially stuff like Tropical Shine Vacation that gives this Tropical Refresh, that heals very small effect. This type of skills will not get better when you level them up. If a skill has something like damage, that we could be discussing characters like Polka or Mirza, they have skills that can heal, but those skills are not called recovery. For example, Silver Light Fangs can trigger Silver Light Dance, and this is an attack that recovers the allies HP. On level 1, on level 99, it will heal the same. The only skills that recovers higher values are those that have the recovery type attached to them. So, those can be leveled up to heal better. Okay, so, well, the problem is that how do you actually program the game to use a recovery spell? It will use on auto, it doesn't have to trigger the support icon. But your character has to take damage, and if it's taking damage, you're allowing the enemies to attack, right? Exactly. There are skills in the game that do self-harm, like Hammer Roll from Rook is a skill that takes recoil damage of 80% of the max HP. If you reach 30% of your max HP, you reach critical state, and that's when the auto AI will want to heal that particular character. So if you are using characters that have access to skills that do recoil damage, then on the next turn, your healer will try to heal that particular character. Okay, so the idea about this all is to bring two characters with recoil damage. You can see here in this squad, I have Rook, but I also have Madeline that has a skill called Luna Fugur from Inheritance of a Premium Style. Both are Premium Styles. And she also takes 80% of recoil damage. And you have to check if your character can re over HP by attack or something to stay on critical. It has to stay on critical so that you will be healing. Okay. So in this scenario, I'll be using Anion to heal first one of those allies with Starlight Heal. And then I will also have Firebringer recovering with his Servant Regression. You can trick the system, because just Firebringer will be enough to get those characters out of critical state. But the game has a very funny way to decide which character goes to heal first. And it's based on the number of the slot of the formation. See, Enya is on slot number one. So she will try to heal somewhat. And then the game uh, will know that it's not enough to heal two characters, and it will use Firebringer that is on the slot number four. And his is an AoE heal. So you can program two heal actions to be performed. But in this case, it has to be one, a single target, and the other, an AoE. But that's good enough, right? But now, uh, I just talked about premium styles that you can use to uh, take advantage of the recoil system. But there is also one character that can also be found for free on the romancing shop and it's available to everyone so anyone can do this strategy go to the styles part and here you type Haniwa this style of Haniwa the GJ version has a skill that will do 80% required damage so after one usage it will be on critical state and then you will be able to heal but if it's just one character you'll be training one heal skill a run. That's still okay. Well, there's not that many heal skills that you will want to level up. Just for your best characters, anyway. But there are plenty of other characters that can also do self-harm. And, for example, this Chooser has 90% required damage. This Dark has 80% required damage. And it's a fast skill. Then there's C260G with 40% with 2 hits. That reaches 80% as well. I also have Polka and Liz that can also do the same. But... They have problem with PP generation. And now, if you want to find other characters that have required damage to use it on this same strategy, go to the rsrs.xyz website 
Go to the skills tab, type recoil, and then you see all skills that have recoil damage. And if you scroll the bar, you can see the style attached to it. You have to find styles that have at least 70% recoil damage. So, any of them will work as long as they can use their skills on turn 1. Or, it can also be using on turn 2, but that breaks all the cycles and the speed off your farming. Okay, now let's get back to the whole idea of the strategy. Uh, I will be running Magia Fight Formation, and my damage dealer here is Leon. It does not need to be Leon. It's better if it's a character that can solo the stage. And since I can solo with Leon, I did not equip Rook or Madeline. If I needed extra help, I would give them a weapon just so that they can help with damage. And I gave uh, Leon the equipments that increase his dexterity. But if you are having difficulty with the speed, give your damage dealer uh, equipments that decreases agility. You can see it here. And the Magia fight is a nice strategy because it decreases the action order of the last character, the number 5, and increases the action order of the first one. That's the first one that you want to recover. In the strategy, I want to use a single target healing here. So, uh, now that we have the squad uh, just fully decided, we have to record the fight. And it's interesting because we can go to this stage here that uh, it's titled Flat Mudgy Ground 1-4, where we'll find enemies that are weak to cold and Neon can solo. Let's click on memory rematch. Uh, you don't need to click this box and click record. Okay, now let's see how much time we take to fully record this. So in this case, I'm also training this skill with Enya because her spell doesn't cost much. You still always have enough EP available in the second turn. And okay, Rook and Madeline are now with low HP. Characters on critical. And my Leon is still fast enough to attack before the enemy. This is nice if you record it with the enemy not attacking you. It means that you have a better version of the run. You can try to get the best run. And it will just replicate this forever. Here. Servant regression. Heals. But it still heals with Enya because of the trick that I talked about. The formation. And if Leon attacks before the enemy, awesome! This is the perfect run because the enemies didn't attack, managed to heal with two characters, and it lasted for exactly one minute. And now the game will add some more seconds to it because that's how memory rematch works. And even though we didn't get level ups yet, as soon as they keep repeating, your character will automatically get level ups. I would suggest you to run for the night. Maybe, uh, I don't know, 300 runs was enough for me, but I had uh, boosters. Always remember to check if you have boosters before you do the memory rematch. Right now we have some, but you may not have it available when you're watching this video. So there is this item that is limited, but we also have a version of it that is permanent, skill and spell rank booster. So use it on your characters, you have to manually select each one. For example, I would have to use this on Enya and on Firebringer, so increase the skill rank cups. And probably around 300 fights will be enough. If it's not, well, keep running. I don't think it would take more than 500 runs. And that's probably around 6 hours or so to max level one of your recovery skills or spells. Well, the video ends here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this can help you with your grind. And if you want to support the channel, we have links in the description like Patreon, PayPal, and Coffee buttons. Don't forget to click the like button and leave a comment if you want. I hope to see you soon in the next video or live stream.